Hello race fans and welcome back to what is the most dangerous and challenging racetrack in the world and in the RWC series. We are here again at the Nurbird Ring where we are just going to jump straight into this race because it being the biggest track of this series or and also in the world, this race is going to take a while. So get your snacks, get your drinks. We're heading right into this. Let's see who's going to win or conquer the Nurbert Ring here in Season 2. So, starting on pole position is Wyatt's Garage, followed by Maconan, Mystics, Project G, Dabrowski, Kudos Khalid, Davi, McGowan. That is your top eight positions. Wyatt's Garage doing surprisingly well and qualifying, considering that he is on pole position. Team Chevrolet, although still looking for their first win, has been doing significantly better so far early on in this season compared to Season 1. Camacho and Violet Dragon uh, completing your top 10, considering that we did not mention them uh, in the initial grid uh, announcement. Barely, however, right on Violet Dragon's tail. Looking to make a pass. Wow, it just glued to her bumper. We'll see if Fairly can make a move here soon. Uh, as same as season one, Nurbert Ring is a very tight track, very hard to pass on. Uh, so we'll see. Speaking of passing, though, Rice there in the back, I think, made a move on G's Doc. I, I couldn't see. Oh, well, he definitely makes a move on Haley. My goodness. Rice wasting no time trying to get to the front. However, Haley will retake her position using the inside line there going into that uh, that turn. We tried to get a proper blueprint of the turns and corners for this track, but there are so many different kinds of layouts and different kinds of blueprints. It, it was very hard for us to narrow down to one, so unfortunately, we will not have the proper turn numbers or markers if you will so we're kind of gonna have to freestyle this like we did in season one unfortunately saya is closing out the field uh finishing rather well last race uh however this time around uh he is towards the back wide's garage making a little bit of a gap actually between him and second place vacon and mystics will move his way up now being in third position project g still in fourth dabrowski fifth uh, Kudos Khalid in 6th, Davi 7th. So very, very, very minor changes there. Um, for your top 5 positions. Barely still stuck behind Violet Dragon it seems. Haley up in 12th now though, so your 3 female drivers back to back. However, Haley has a little bit of ground to make up to battle barely in Violet Dragon for that 10th place spot as the whole second half of the grid is all kind of backed up one behind the other. Besnard looking to make a move on Bowers on the outside. We'll see if he can get it done. No, he cannot. Bowers will hold on to his position. Dumont and Saez, 19th, 20th position. Heading back to the top. Wyatt's Garage still, actually, if anything, making more of a gap. That C7 is just really hard charging here in the Nurburgring course, or track, however however you would want to say that. Mystic's trying to find his way around Vakonin for the second place spot. Project G, Dabrowski, the four of them very tight together, battling for position. This is a very dangerous section of the track to be battling that hard as again this track in general is very narrow. One mistake and it could lead to a very very bad day. It also doesn't help that with them battling Wyatt's Garage is able to make even a larger gap. So I would recommend that they kind of stop fighting for now and try to work together to catch up to Wyatt's Garage, but Mystics will secure the second place spot from Vakonin, so he will now be in P2. Dabrowski also looking to make a move on Vakonin, going into the carousel here. I don't believe... Yes, he fell back. He was not able to uh, commit to that move, unfortunately. McGowan falling way back here. 
with Violet Dragon now on his tail. Jeez, Doc looking to make a move on Rice. Rice closes the door. Currently in 12th place. Rice closes the door on Jeez Doc pretty hard. He actually loses a little bit of momentum after that. So Rice will hold on to his 12th place position. Or now. Rice, uh, last season finished okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, he had the podium just stolen from him from Project G at the last second. Uh, so we'll see where he finishes this season. Uh, battle for 19th going on between Isidro and Dumont. And Isidro will secure that 19th position for now. Mystics closing the gap on Wyatt's Garage. So battle for pole position will be underway momentarily. Vakonin also trying to close the gap to join the battle for pole position. However, he still has a few car lengths to go as uh, the rest of your top 10 seems to be pretty spaced out. About one or two cars between each other, roughly. Uh, seven, eighth, ninth, uh, yeah. So pretty much all the way until your 10th position, there's a gap between each driver. But fairly just, just still sticking to Violet Dragon. It's like those two are just like tied together. That gap really has not changed since the start of this race. So that's actually quite impressive. Uh, by Fairly and also Violet Dragon for you know for holding her there uh, So I guess kudos to both of those ladies for just battling pretty tough there So not much going on at the moment everyone seems to be kind of respecting uh, Their own lines and positions if you will uh, but that probably will be subject to change actually here on the straight. Looks like Isidro's looking to make a move on Haley. He probably will have uh, more of the top end. Dabrowski will overtake Mystics. Wyatt's Garage still holding on to his pole position. Kudo's looking to make a move on Project G there in the back. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Uh, but if it's going to be anything like Season 1, we're probably going to have a battle of the pit stops. Yes, we are, as the entire grid enters the pits now. And it will be up to the pit crews to determine who will leave the pit stops first. So let's see. Wide's Garage and Dabrowski both are at a bit of a disadvantage considering that Mystics and pretty much the rest of the top 10 have a significant fuel advantage. Coming into the pits here, oh yeah, Wyatt's Garage unfortunately will lose his pole position. Uh, now who will take it from him is the question because Vakonin and Mystics are looking pretty darn close together. I think Vakonin has the slight edge though. Yes, Vakonin will get out first. So Vakonin will take pole position, Mystics will take second, Project G will move up to third. Davi 4th, Wyatt's Garage will join the field in 5th, Kudos 6th, Dabrowski 7th, McGowan 8th, Camacho 9th, and Violet Dragon will close out your top 10 yet again. Barely will come back out in 11th, Sai is 12th, Jizdok 13th, Rice 14th, and a penalty. I think he may have cut the pit lane. So that's probably where that penalty came from. So he will fall way back because of that, all the way down to 17th position. So he has a lot of work to do to get back up on the top half of the grid. But Conan immediately under attack by Mystics. We'll see what happens there momentarily. Project G closing out the podium as of right now halfway through this race. Dobby 4th, Wise Garage closing out the top 5. Kudos in 6. Dabrowski looking to change that however. As you can see he's kind of kind of swinging in and out possibly looking for an open line to attack. Camacho in 8th. McGowan 9th and then again Violet Dragon closing out the top 10. See if Fairly can close that gap and attack by the dragon for that top 10 spot. As the rest of your grid is extremely spaced out here. Jeez, Doc, Saez, Haley, Lee, 
Besnard, Bowers, Isidro, Dumas. Yeah, there's, uh, there's actually a pretty good amount of space between those drivers there. So I don't think. Mo Whoa, what in the world? Rice is in last place? No idea what happened there, but uh, okay, apparently Rice is in last place now. So he definitely has a lot of work to do now. Uh, Mystic still knocking on the door of Vakonin. Vakonin doing a good job of holding the defending champ for now, but if we've seen anything these first three races, is Mystics is definitely trying to solidify his greatness by uh, finishing in very high position, if not winning, um, considering that he won the first race of this season and also finished in the top five in uh, last race, excuse me, fairly doing exactly what I thought she would do. She closed the gap and she is back on Violet Dragon's tail, but she really needs to get around her because apparently, but whoa, Lee in the wall there after hitting the curb. He doesn't lose any position due to it, but for sure he probably has some damage on that Jaguar now. So we'll see if he, well, everyone pits here at the Nurburgring, but you know, we'll, we'll see if his pit will cost him position due to having to repair that Jaguar now. Not too sure what happened there though to cause him to hit the curb. I guess he was just on a bad racing line. Mystic's looking to go for a move on Vakonin for pole position, but Vakonin closes the door. He will not let Mystics have that position easily. As the gap between the two is basically non-existent in Project G joining the fight for first place as it is now a three car battle potentially four as wires garage is kind of looking from the back there we'll see if we have a four car battle for first place here and just a few corners and it is looking so as wires garage officially i suppose you can say has caught up to project g however a gap has now been made between vakonin and mystics between project g and wires garage as a few more cars are also catching up to the pair. This is starting to look pretty interesting here with just two laps to go in this monster of a race. As most of your top 10, eight positions are in very close proximity and Fairly actually finally gets around Violet Dragon, but she's now caught up behind McGowan. So we will see what Fairly can do now that she has the top 10 spot, Violet Dragon unfortunately being pushed back to 11th and falling back. Your lower end or lower half of the grid here. G's Doc, Saez, Haley, a couple cars behind. Not too much going on. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're battling just yet. However, Besnard and Lee definitely are having a little battle as Besnard is very close. We'll see if he'll try to go for a move here soon. Bowers in 17, Isidro in 18. Rice moving up one position, now in 19th. Looking very rough for Toyota. Same for Dumont. Unfortunately, Dumont uh, hasn't been having a great start to this season, unfortunately. Mystics is just absolutely on the door of Vakonin. Same with Wyatt's Garage to Project G. These four cars are just having a very intense battle for the top four positions. Mystics obviously unable to make a move, however, because as, you know, been stated a couple times now, this track is just extremely narrow. It is very hard to make a pass. But Mystics is just absolutely glued to Vakonin's bumper. Same with White's Garage, but not as much to Project G. And then Davi and Kudos Khalid having their own battle for the top five. As you can see them in the back, Kudos Khalid is very close to Davi. So now that they're coming to the longest straight of the track, we'll see if we have some position changes. And sure enough, Mystics goes to the outside, same as White's Garage, looking to make their passes respectively. 
We'll see if they can get him done. Mystics gets his done. Will Wyatt's Garage get his done? Yes, he will. So Mystics will move into pole and Wyatt's Garage will move into third place. There was also a couple passes in the back, but Wyatt's Garage will actually also pass Vakonin for second and Mystics for first. Wyatt's Garage making three passes to get into pole position. We will see how this will affect his pit stop, however, as unfortunately Team Chevy is not the quickest. That C7 Corvette is also very bad on gas consumption. So we'll, we're going to see here is the next battle of pit stops. And uh, as you look right there, look at that gas disadvantage. 17 gallons compared to 34. That is huge. So we will see how this is going to affect Chevy because they are definitely not getting out of these pits still in first place. So there we go, all the refuels underway. Avakonin uh, actually looks like he might sneak away with pole position yet again, just barely. It's gonna be close. It is going to be very close and it's gonna be Vakonin, nope. No, yeah, Vakonin. Vakonin will still pull position yet again coming out of the pits. It'll be Vakonin, Mystics, and Project G again. Davi in fourth. Wyatt's Garage will actually come out in fifth, so not bad. Who doesn't six? Camacho seven. Mago in eighth. Dabrowski ninth. Fairly will actually come out in tenth this time. Violet Dragon will come out in eleventh. G's Doc 12, Saez 13th, Haley 14th, Bowers 15th, Des, uh, yeah, Besmar uh, 16th, Asidro 17th, Lee 18th, Rice 19th, and Dumont in 20th. I don't know what that was right there. Forgive me, folks. But here we are. One lap to go until the final lap. And things are definitely getting pretty intense, especially with the top three. Is actually there's position changes going on right now, so hopefully we can cut back to the top. Okay, here we go. So Vakonin, uh, or excuse me, Mystics actually had the lead momentarily, but Vakonin took it back. Project G very close behind. Oh my goodness, Project G doing phenomenally better this race than he did in season one. He he was very confident both times. He was very confident in Season 1 where he finished in 3rd place, but he was even more confident going into this race saying that winning is the only option for Team Porsche and we will see if he can get it done this time around as he's definitely looking way more promising in this race than he did last race here at the Nürburgring. Uh, this may actually be the last time we race at the Nürburgring for now. Uh, so getting a win here for him, I'm sure, will truly mean a lot. Uh, to, you know, just solidify his uh, his itch, I guess, if you can say, to win here. As as mentioned last season, he does have a lot of experience here at the Nürburgring. Not just him, but also Team Porsche. So I mean, you know, to get a win here is definitely a big deal for them. But anyway, Davi, fourth place, Wyatt's Garage in fifth, kudos six, as there's a three-car battle for the fifth and fourth place spots here. Camacho looking to join in on the fun in seventh place. So we will see how this heats up here with very few laps to go. Oh, Camacho actually getting a little loose there. Almost hits the wall. He manages to save it though, pushing maybe a little bit too hard to try to fight for that top five. Almost makes a similar mistake to Lee. Actually, yeah, that was, that was in the same corner, if I'm not mistaken, as, as Lee, where he did hit the wall. Which, that being said, I never did track where Lee was. If I'm not mistaken, he was towards the back, so more than likely they did have to repair some damage from that incident that uh, clearly affected him unfortunately as Lee was actually doing pretty good being uh, in the upper half of the field but I mean that's racing things happen that uh, are just unfortunate at times so let's see there's Besnard, Rice, Isidro is Lee in 19th? Yes, Lee's all the way in 19th position. 
following his incident. So very, very, very unfortunate as he was actually performing quite well here in the early half of the race. But going back to the top, this battle for first, second, and third place is just insane. It's Project G starting to go for the move for second, but he has to let off because as I've mentioned time and time again, it is very dangerous to pass in certain parts of this track as it is just too narrow. So it was definitely the smarter move to let off. However, he will have a gap to make up for now, but better to make up a gap than to wreck and not finish the race at all. But Vakonin will hold on to pole position. Mystics will hold on to second. Project G will continue to be in third place for now. But this battle here between these three drivers is just absolutely insane. Wise Garage will actually make the pass on Davi. So he will be in fourth place now. Very, very, very good driving by Rise Garage this race. Uh, I would argue this is probably his best performance so far this season. But Davi will now close out the top five. Kudos Khalid looking to change that, however, knocking on his door. Camacho still in seventh, but going in eighth. Pretty much the rest of your top ten staying the same at the moment. However, Dabrowski looking to fight McGowan for his eighth place spot. Hasn't quite found an opening yet. Fairly closing out the top ten. Also kind of looking for an opening on Dabrowski. Basically the three of these drivers having the same type of battle as your podium three. Just in a very different look. So, whoa, Rice in 13th place. When did he jump up that many positions? I, I guess I wasn't really paying attention, but wow. Okay, so Rice in, in 13th place. Very nice. G's Doc looking to make a move on Violet Dragon. However, it does not happen. Rice, however, makes a move on G's Doc, and he actually secures it. Very nice move by Rice. Definitely not an easy thing to do here. So Rice will secure the 12th place spot and is low. Oh, G-Stock gets loose. Hard into the wall. And Saez rams right into him and Besnard as well. Huge crash here. Between the three drivers, that's definitely going to affect them big time. Here towards the end of this race, what a hard hit by G's Doc in that Ferrari. And I mean, same for Saya. Saya has had nowhere to go and just smashed right into that Ferrari. Besnard probably got out of there the cleanest, but even him kind of got sandwiched there by the two drivers. So that is definitely going to seal their race, unfortunately, as they come down the long straight for the second to last time mystics trying to make a run for pole it's going to be a drag race but he does secure it so mystics will retake the lead mcconan in second project g trying to catch up still holding on to third place wide's garage still holding on to fourth They'll be coming to the pit stops for the final time this race. So whoever comes out of the pits first will have the best chance at winning this race today here at the Nürburgring. So who will it be for the final time pit stop battle? Mystic goes in first and the fuel is looking pretty close between the three. 33, 39, and 36. Wyatt's Garage, unfortunately, is at far too much of a disadvantage to be in contention for the lead. Let's see. Vakonin still is ahead in terms of fuel, but not by much. It is very close, and they actually cut it short. Vakonin will take the lead again coming out of the pits but project g will actually enter or exit before mystics so he will take second 
Mystics will be third, Davi fourth, McGowan fifth, Kudos Khalid sixth, Camacho seventh, Wyatt's Garage will fall all the way back to eighth, Dabrowski in ninth, yes, and Fairly again will close out the top ten, followed by Violet Dragon, Bowers, Rice, and 13th, the Cedro 14th. Geez, Doc, where is he going to finish in this little pit stop battle considering his extremely hard wreck just now on those last few corners? Haley will actually exit before him, possibly due to the repairs that had to be made. Lee will also exit before. Besnard, like I mentioned, he kind of got out the cleanest out of the three, so he will leave before as well. Saya is in 18th, G's Doc in 19th. Dumont will be the only person to leave after that trio. But as I mentioned, Dumont and that Mitsubishi Evo, unfortunately, are just kind of not in the same pace bracket uh, today. So that is for other reasons entirely. But yeah, so Vakonin with a very large gap at the moment. Project G in second, Mystic's third. This is the three-car battle for the win and the order of the podium for that matter. As these three drivers are pretty much in a class of their own at the moment. As you can see, the gap between... Excuse me, folks. As you can see, the gap between Mystics and fourth place is just... It is, it is a very large gap, so these, these three drivers essentially are all alone here on the final lap. And the gap is closing between the three as well, so we are about to have a battle for this last lap of the race. Dobby holding his own in fourth place. McGowan closing out the top five with Kudos Khalid right on his door. Camacho still in seventh. Oh, as good as Khalid actually tried to go for a move there, but McGowan closed the door on him. So he was unable to do anything. He actually tries to go for a move again here on the inside line, but McGowan doing a really good job defending. Not much being able to happen here as they are now getting into the more narrow part of the track. As I mentioned, Camacho in 7th, Wise Garage still in 8th, Dabrowski under attack by Fairley and Rice in 11th and 12th position. Er, I don't know where by the Dragon went, but she was there for a second. Rice making a move on Fairley, he will secure it quite easily. Violet Dragon coming under attack by Bowers. We'll see if Bowers will be able to make a move. Isidro all on his own in 14th. Haley in 15th. Lee Besnard, G's Doc, the three involved in the incident just a few turns ago. Lee overtaking Besnard. And the both of them actually overtaking Sayas. I just realized I, I believe Sayas actually came out of the pits before them. However, Saya is now in 19th and Dumont still closing out the field in 20th position. Project G now in pole position overtaking Vakonin at some point. Unfortunately, we missed it due to going through the rest of the grid. However, all he has to do is to just hold that position just a little while longer and he will not only have his first career win but his first career win will be at a place no other than the Nürburgring the most challenging and dangerous track in the world and I don't think he would want it to be any other place other than here considering how confident he is of this place and how much he loves racing here so it would fit no better for Project G if he was to get his first career win here at the ring. He's actually creating a little bit of a gap as well. It looks like he's not trying to play around at all. He's not trying to give up anything to chance. 
as like I mentioned last season when we first raced here, he unfortunately finished podium. As ironic as that sound, he was not happy about finishing podium. He wanted to win, he wanted to prove himself uh, that his confidence was not ill-placed uh, here at the ring. So as we go back through the grid, or hopefully one of the final times as it doesn't look like the grid has changed too much at this point uh, all the positions seem to be the same as of now oh Besnard losing a little bit of traction there he hangs on though stays in 15th place Now that we're back at the top, Project G still with that gap between him and second place. Second place coming under fire from Mystics. We'll see if Mystics will overtake him here on the final stretch, which they are coming to very, very soon. So this is it. Will the fight for podium reach an all-time high here on the final straight, considering that Project G and that Porsche don't have the best top end compared to everyone else in the grid, but will the gap that he created be enough to protect him from losing first place? We're about to find out right here, folks. Here we go. Coming down the long stretch for the final time of this race. There goes Mystics with his pass. And he will take second place from Vakonin. But does he have enough to catch up to Project G? It doesn't quite look like it. It looks like Project G made enough of a gap to protect himself. But there's still just a few more little corners to go. I don't think it's going to happen, folks. I think Project G just did what he aimed to do last season him and team porsche will get their first career win here in the rwc here at the nurbert ring no other place would probably be more rewarding mystics would get second vakonin will close out your podium davi from the looks of it, we'll get fourth. Kudos Khalid will close your top five. McGowan is sixth. Wyatt's Garage will actually finish seventh. Very nice, very nice by Wyatt's Garage and Team Chevy. Rice will actually make his way all the way up to eighth. Fairly ninth. Bowers will close out the top ten. As the rest of your grid comes across here. So again... Major congratulations to Project G. We're actually going to try and catch him real quick. We weren't able to catch Mystics in race number one. And we also were not able to catch Rice in race number two. But we're going to try to catch Project G real quick and have our interview with him. So don't go anywhere. But as far as the race itself, this is your finishing order. And we hope that you enjoyed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we made it down here to the Porsche garage right before they left, but I am here with Project G. Congratulations on your win today. You said you would win last season, but unfortunately fell just short. This time, however, you accomplished your goal. How does it feel to finally get the win that you wanted? The win feels great on my record. It's a lot better than last season. Actually, get me pole position and looking forward to that since last season well now that you have it after this win how do you think you and team porsche will continue this season i think me and team porsche can keep up this victory streak if we make a few tweaks to the car i'm not sure how i'm liking the setup it seems underpowered in straightaways but hopefully we can fix that soon that is a very fair note to make, but Project G, I am going to let you go to celebrate your win. Is there anything else that you would like to say to the fans before I let you go? Remember, Porsche means perfection. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Project G and Team Porsche on their first career victory here at the Nurburgring. Uh, we hope to see you next time.